Hi, I'm Marsh Gardner and I'm part of the product team at Apogee. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly modernize a legacy API using the SOAP to REST converter. I'll create a new API proxy. In this case, I'm going to use an example WSDL. You can see that it's guessed, it's made some guesses about how we should structure this API based on what is defined in the WSDL. Uh, but it, it doesn't know exactly what pattern I want, so I'm going to change here where it says conversion rate to be rates, and I'm going to give it a path of currency. Now I'll build that proxy, and it's been deployed to my Apogee environment. Now I can look into the visual editor and see exactly what's happened. It's added a bunch of policies that take the new pattern, map it to the backend system, then fix the response as it comes back through, and converts the XML to JSON. All right, let's see how this works. I'm going to go to the trace tool and start the trace session, and make a request using the new pattern. And you can see that it's called out to the backend service using the SOAP pattern that it expects, and it's returning me this JSON. That's great. There are a few changes I'd like to make. Notice that it chose as query parameters from currency and to currency. Let's fix that. So I'm going to go to the extract query parameter policy and change the name of from currency to from and to currency to to. I'm going to save and redeploy that proxy. Now I'll run a new trace session and try the new pattern. And you can see now we have a much more RESTful API than we had when we started. When we began, this is the kind of XML I would have had to pass to the backend server. But now I can make a request to the currency rates resource pass in the query parameters from and to, and I get back my currency rate. You can see how you can quickly take an existing legacy backend system and update it to be a modern RESTful API. Thanks.